Good morning. Good morning. My name is Debbie Ball, and I am the Vice President of St. Lucas Church Council. I'm also Natalie Peroni's grandmother, Confirmand, so I'm a proud grandmother today. On behalf of the council and the congregation, we are so proud of you, Confirmands, and we welcome you as members of St. Lucas. When church council would meet last year every month, we would hear all about this confirmation class, how large it was, how hard you were working to be confirmed. We want you to know that St. Lucas needs you. You are the future of this church. Perhaps someday one of you will be standing here as a council representative welcoming the confirmands. I really hope so. I hope you stay involved in church be an usher, be a door greeter, cast your vote, volunteer, give of your time and talents because we need you. A church council is made up of 15 members and look at all of you. You could be an entire church council someday. We all miss being in the building right now and we're looking forward to being back. And I can't wait until I pass you that communion plate on communion Sunday and you can take a cup of wine or juice and a piece of bread. We're so proud of you, very, very proud. Welcome as full members of St. Lucas. Good morning. Um, I'll be reading the call to worship, so you'll need your device for this to follow along on the digital bulletin. I'll give you a moment to pull it up. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready my virtual teaching hack, right? <laughs> okay, well, I've got the first line, so if you're still pulling it up, you've got time. The community of God's people is like the sun rising in strength. We nurture each other, help one another grow, and provide warmth and light to one another. Humbly, we offer one another patience and kindness, loving one another as Jesus taught us. Thanks be to God, giver of all things, who makes such a community possible. Thanks be to God of our lives, who draws us together and remains within us all things. If you could please join me in the opening prayer. God, our illuminator, you ignite our imaginations and light our pathways on our journey. Holy Spirit, be among us now as we step onto new paths with the Compromands as they enter a new phase in their faith, life of faith. And with this community, as we welcome and embrace their addition to our common life, help us to see what is possible together and move us forward together. Amen.
Sometimes in the course of confirmation, there are some members of the class who need to be baptized, and we are privileged this morning to, to enjoy a double baptism. Eli and Ava are to be baptized. I invite them and their parents to come forward now, if they will. I'm going to put you two over kind of closer to Kelly where the water is. Okay, I've got to talk a few minutes about baptism and then we'll, we'll work on this. Since the very beginning, we, the church, have baptized adults and children because we remember that Jesus was baptized by John in the River Jordan. And Jesus told us then to go and baptize others. Baptism is a symbol a symbol of God's love for all of us, a reminder that God created us and calls us good, a sign that God's image is what is deepest within us. In baptism, we, the community of faith, reaffirm the gift and wonder of life, giving thanks to our God and creator as we welcome a new sister and a new brother into God's household. The waters of baptism are like God reaching down and saying, I love you, you are mine. Never forget the goodness in which you are made. Listen to these words of scripture concerning baptism. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. And in Galatians we read, as many of you as were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female. For all of you are one in Christ Jesus. An important part of baptism is the promises that we make to each other promising that we will love and support one another in our common journey of faith as we seek to know the love and grace of Jesus. Baptism is a series of promises that involve all of us here today, these young people, their mom, and we, the, the family, the congregation of St. Lucas United Church of Christ, and the God whom we serve. In baptism, we literally surround Ava and Eli with our promises. And so, Jennifer, you are the first promise maker. Do you desire that Eli and Ava be baptized into the faith and family of Jesus? Do you? Yes. Thank you. Relying joyfully and fully on God's grace, do you promise to continue, to live, continue living the Christian faith, to continue teaching this faith to your children, and to continue raising them in the life and worship of the church? Do you? Ava and Eli, through baptism, we enter the covenant God has established with us. Through this covenant, God lifts up the goodness in which we are created, gives us new life, and nurtures us in love. By saying yes to this covenant in baptism, we embrace God's goodness by choosing to serve Jesus Christ. I now invite each of you to join your parents in promise-making with these questions as you are baptized. Do you agree with your parents that this is the right time for you to be baptized? Do you? Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world, or do you? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Lord and Savior, trusting in his grace and love, do you? Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying his word and showing his love, will you? Thank you. Thank you. We baptize Eli and Ava today for the larger church of Jesus Christ. Yet any child of God who is bathed in the waters of baptism in this congregation becomes one of our own. And so we make promises, important promises, long-lasting promises to all whom we baptized. Let us now together as a congregation make and reaffirm our commitments to Ava and Eli and their family. Our Lord Jesus Christ ordered us to teach those who are baptized. Do we, the people of St. Lucas United Church of Christ,
promise to pray always for Eli and Ava and walk alongside them that they may come to know the good news of the gospel, that they may know all that Christ commands his disciples in love, and that they may be ever sure of the goodness of God that lies deep inside them. Do we? Okay, we can do better than this. Your, your answer is we do. So all those things I just said, do we? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh holy and gracious God, for the gifts of Ava and Eli and their family. Just as you created them and all of us, so too you have provided the gift of water, which sustains all life. Bless this water now that it may be a fountain of deliverance and rebirth. Reveal your goodness in all who are touched by it, and forever tie these new disciples to us in the body of Christ. Gentle Savior, giver and keeper of all life, we offer to you now our thankful praise for the lives of Eli and Ava. Let your peaceful assurance rest upon them and this family, gently reminding them of your strong presence and sure guidance. Help this church to be a good and Christ-like influence in their lives so that they may come to know you personally and trust you completely. In the strong name of Jesus we pray, amen. child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God the Creator, God the Redeemer, God the Sustainer, may God bless your life this day. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of God, the Creator, God the Redeemer, and God the Sustainer. May God bless your life this day. Now, at this point, if, if they were little ones, I would walk them around the congregation. And I've been known even to walk confirmands around, but, but I think our sight lines are good enough that we will see them well today. So let us just offer a word of prayer for them as this baptism concludes. God of life, may your joy be in these young hearts and your love surround their living. Each day and night and wherever they roam, May they always know your presence. In growing and learning, in joy and sorrow, in friendship, in solitude, in beginnings and endings, keep and bless Eli and Ava all the days of their lives. Amen. I would like to invite the entire confirmation class of 2020 to rise and join Eli and Ava as you will now affirm your baptisms. Friends in Christ, we are all received into the church through the sacrament of baptism. These people have found nurture and support in the midst of the family of Christ. Through prayer and study, they have been led by the Holy Spirit to affirm their baptism and to claim our presence in their covenantal relationship with Christ and members of the church. They are here for the service of Jesus Christ using the gifts which the Holy Spirit bestows. From Ephesians you are no longer strangers or sojourners but you are equally citizens with the Saints and members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the Apostles and the prophets Christ Jesus alone being the cornerstone 
in whom the whole structure is joined together and grows into the holy temple in Christ, in whom you are built into for a dwelling place of God and the Holy Spirit. Confirmands, do you desire to affirm your baptism into the faith and family of Jesus Christ? And if so, answer, I do. Do you renounce the powers of evil and the desire the freedom of new life in Christ? And if so, respond, I do. Do you promise by the grace of God to be Christ's disciple, to follow in the ways of our Savior, to resist oppression and evil, to show love and justice, and to witness to the work and world of Jesus Christ as best as you are able? And if so, respond, I promise, with God's help. Let us now pray. O oh God, my God, known to me in Jesus Christ, I give you myself as your own to love and serve faithfully all the days of my life. Almighty God, who in baptism received these your servants into the church, forgave their sins and promised them eternal life, increase in them the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Grant love for others, joy in serving you, peace in disagreement, patience in suffering, kindness towards all people, goodness in evil times, faithfulness in temptation, gentleness in the face of opposition, self-control in all things. Thereby strengthen them for their ministry in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. You may be seated. All except Django Archer. Would you please come forward? Django, what is your chosen Bible verse? Psalm 100, verses 1 through 2. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before them with joyful songs. Thank you. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant Django through the water of baptism. Nourish him in the power of your Holy Spirit that he may serve you in the world. Amen. Mickey Barrett. Let's let your family get up here a minute. Please tell us your Bible verse. John chapter 3 verse 18. Let us love, not in a word of speech, but in truth and action. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this your servant, Mickey, through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of your Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in the world. Amen. Kate Bauer. What is your chosen Bible verse? 
1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Keep alert, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, and be strong. God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant Kate through the water of holy baptism. Nourish in her the power of the Holy Spirit that she may serve you in all the world. Amen. Jane Cottle. Please share your scripture verse, Jane. Joshua 1, 9, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. O God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant, Jane, through the waters of baptism. Nourish in her the power of your Holy Spirit, that she may serve you in the world. Amen. Jenna Elmore. Jenna, which Bible verse have you chosen for this day? Jeremiah 29 11. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Then when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you. When you search for me, you will find me, if you seek me with all your heart. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant, Jenna, through the water of baptism. Nourish in her the power of your Holy Spirit, that she may serve you in all the world. Amen. Evan Glavanovitz. Evan, please share your verse. Joshua 1 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. O God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant, Evan, through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of your Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in the world. Amen. Thank you. Luke Giesing, please come forward. Luke, please share your chosen Bible verse for this day. John chapter 5, verse 4. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. O oh God, through the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant Luke through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of the Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in all the world. Amen. Carson Kinsler. Please share your scripture verse. Isaiah 58:10. If you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom shall will be like the noonday. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant Carson, through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of your Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in the world. Amen. Will Kingsland.
Well, what verse is close to your heart this day? 1 John 3.18. Let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. Please kneel. Oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant will through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of the Holy Spirit that he may serve you in all the world. Amen. Mackenzie Nelson. Mackenzie, please share your scripture verse with us. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For surely I know the plans I have for you, you say, says you says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Then when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you when you search for me. You will find me if you seek me with all your heart. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant Mackenzie, through the water of baptism. Nourish in her the power of your Holy Spirit, that she may serve you in the world. Amen. Natalie Peroni. Natalie, please share your verse with us. Mine is from Mark chapter 9, verse 23. All things are possible to him who believes. Please kneel. Oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant Natalie through the water of baptism. Nourish in her the power of the Holy Spirit so that she may serve you in all the world. Amen. Nathan Stasikoff. Nathan, will you please share your verse with us? Judges 5.31. May they who love you be like the sun when it rises in its strength. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant Nathan, through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of your Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in the world. Amen. Please rise. Ryan Steikoff. Ryan, please read your verse for us. From John chapter 3, verse 18. Let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant Ryan through the waters of baptism. Nourish in him the power of the Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in all the world. Amen. Eli Wendell. Eli, share with us your scripture verse. Um, John chapter 8, verse 7. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant Eli, through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of your Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in the world. Amen. Please rise. Luke Wendell. Luke, what have you chosen to share with us this day? Um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 26. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. Yeah. O 
Oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant, Luke, through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the Holy Spirit, that he may serve you in all the world. Amen. Ava Woodall. Seems like we've just been here. Please share your verse with us. Psalm 62, 8. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out our heart before him. God is a refuge for us. O oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted this, your servant, Ava, through the water of baptism. Nourish in her the power of your Holy Spirit, that she may serve you in the world. Amen. Please rise. Eli Woodall. Eli, what wisdom have you found for today? Proverbs 14, 23. There is a profit in hard work, but mere talk leads to poverty. Me oh God, in the grace of Jesus Christ, you have accepted your servant Eli through the water of baptism. Nourish in him the power of the Holy Spirit that he may serve you in all the world. Amen. And now, let us pray. We rejoice, O merciful God, with these people in the gift of your Holy Spirit and in the Spirit's power to awaken us to the new truth and to inspire us to venture into the fullness of life. <laughs> Help them to live not for themselves, but for Christ and those whom Christ loves. Keep them steady and abounding in hope, never giving up, pressing toward the goal of life with you in Jesus Christ. Amen. I'd now like to ask all the confirmands to stand in place if they would. And I'm going to ask you a question. And, and the answer is, I promise with the help of God. And so I want you to say that really loud, okay, when it's time. Do you promise to participate in the life and mission of this family of God's people, sharing regularly in the worship of God and enlisting in the work of this local church as it serves this community and the world? Do you? Good, good answer. Thank you. You may be seated. And at the end of this comment I'm about to make the parents there's a place in the printed bulletin for you to to read together I'll lead you in it but just be prepared as as the confirmands you have as the confirmands have pledged their participation in and support of this community of faith let us now offer our support of them let the confirmation parents be the first to welcome and offer Christian support to these new members parents together we offer you our Christian love and support as you in this exciting journey of faith. Let us, the members and friends of St. Lucas United Church of Christ, express our welcome and affirm our mutual ministry in Christ. In the common life of this church, we promise you our friendship and prayers as we share the hopes and labors of the Church of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, may we continue to grow together in God's knowledge and love, and be witnesses of our risen Savior. I therefore declare you members in full standing of St. Lucas United Church of Christ of St. Louis, Missouri. In the name of Jesus Christ and on behalf of St. Lucas United Church of Christ, 
We extend to you the hand of Christian love, welcoming you into the company of this local church. And since we can't extend a hand, let's extend some applause welcoming them. And let us pray. Dear God, we praise you for calling us to faith and for gathering us into the church, the body of Christ. We thank you for your people gathered in this local church and rejoice that you have increased our community of faith. Together may we live in the spirit, building one another up in love, sharing in the life and worship of the church, and serving the world for the sake of Jesus Christ. Amen. Seth, let's sing. Lord be with you. Oh, let's try that again. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Almighty God. You created light out of darkness and brought forth life on the earth. You formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life and remain steadfast in your love and promise to us. So we offer our praise saying, Holy, 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 God of love and majesty, the whole universe speaks your glory, O God most high. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, in whom you revealed yourself and dreams for creation. Jesus Christ, our light and our salvation. It was on the night before he died that Jesus gathered around a table with 
his friends and disciples took bread and blessed it and broke it and shared it, saying, this is my body broken for you. And after supper, he also took a cup. And after he'd given thanks, he said, this cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in my name. And so in remembrance of these mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And let us pray. O oh God, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and cup. Make them be for us the body and blood of Jesus, that we may be for the world the body of Christ. Make us bearers of your boundless light. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Creator, now and forevermore. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come, for all things are ready. And I hear you've already been working on your bags, and I hope you will reach in there and find your communion elements and... Um, And as you find them, hold on to it, and we'll receive it together. My friends, this is the bread of life. And this is the cup of blessing. you to join me in the prayer in your digital program. Bountiful God, we give you thanks that you have refreshed us at your table by granting us the presence of Christ. We give you thanks for this reminder of to whom we belong. You, O oh God, and one another. Strengthen our faith, increase our love for one another, and send us forth into the world in courage and peace, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing our closing hymn.
our confirmation service is ending, but confirmands and all, our service to God and to one another continues this day and always. In this word of benediction or in this charge I have for you as one of your teachers this year, I just want you to remember your own wisdom, the papers that you shared at our virtual banquet on Thursday night were profound. They were deep, they were thoughtful, and they were meaningful. I want you to remember what you have learned. In so many words, each and every one of you said the same thing, that you had been changed by our confirmation experience together. That we, as your teachers and leaders, we have been changed by our learning and our growing together. So today, as I send you forth with God's blessing, I want you to stay changed, remain changed. Let this experience that you have now completed mold you, that you be different than those who showed up at our very first confirmation meeting, that you have grown and matured in your faith, in your love of God, and in your love for God's church. Go forth in peace and go forth changed. Amen.